I woke up at like 4.30 in the morning just still because the time change is really weird like from the clocks going back and I'm like just sitting there I'm on like Instagram and like all of a sudden I feel this like balloon pop like inside I'm like was that gas? I just had my water breaking, nothing came out yet. And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, waiting to feel, feel like a trickle or something. And then I immediately get up, nothing came out yet. And I'm sitting on the toilet still, and my water is trickling. And I obviously had a big glob coming out of me because it's probably my mucus plug. I'm still sitting on the toilet. Um, I think this is a slow leak, probably from the baby's head, because the same thing happened with Mila. Um, I don't have any contractions yet though, which is weird. I think, I think a little bit's coming out right now. <laughs> I'm like, kind of, yeah. Yeah, I think I feel something. It's not pain. You can like tell when something's coming out of you. Yeah. Um, Gino's freaking out because I really want to like take a shower, but, um, because we live really far away, like over an hour. He's like, the baby's just gonna come out. And I'm like, well, I don't feel anything yet, but I'm also three centimeters, so. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready yet. I'm really scared, but this is really weird. Um, I'm 38 weeks, four days, and it's November 9th. And November 9th was a day that I felt, I swear, I had it like on text message with my mom. I'm like, I feel a heaviness about this day. November 9th, I'm like, we will see. And it's November 9th. <laughs> trying to see if I have a big enough pad. I guess this one's just gonna have to do. I'm not gonna lie, the first thing I thought of, I'm just being honest, I go to the bathroom every morning, right? Now I can't, which means what if it's all over the table? Still not having any contractions yet though. I guess we'll just go. I guess it's gonna be time to say goodbye. I don't think my water fully, fully broke. Like there's still probably a lot of fluid in there cause it's a very, it's been like trickling, but again, I've had this happen before and Oh my god, this is crazy, but I'm really happy. Yesterday was just my OB appointment, and because I have gestational diabetes, he just set an induction date, and, you know, it was really in my heart that I really obviously wanted to do spontaneous labor. I'm just gonna get ready. I'll probably update once I'm in the hospital, but this is weird. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Just in case, even though I'm wearing a pad. You have your keys? Yes. I just bought this blanket yesterday because I wanted it to be Christmas themed when I was in labor. All right, it's on the way to the hospital. I'm like worried I'm not contracting. Hopefully it'll start, but I know I have 24 hours until risk of infection. I think it was like just about an hour ago the water broke. But, I guess we'll see what happens. Sorry, Imagine it didn't break. I just, I thought I was gonna hit the Juno's like really nervous right now. I'm just laughing. Because we have an hour, we're an hour away. Yeah, but I'm not contracting. I think there's a door open, maybe it's my door, all right. So this one, I don't know, I hope, I hope I do, but. <laughs> this baby out again. I just be in, in work mode. I just told Gino, um, like, you better shed a tear when the baby comes out because he didn't cry when Sebastian came out, but he cried when Mila came out. Obviously, I'm gonna cry. But when Sebastian came out, I, I pulled him out, so I was in, like, the zone. Yeah, I <laughs> honestly want to try to pull the baby out myself this time. As long as the doctor is cool. It's not my doctor. But 
That's so common, unfortunately. But like, I'm just really nervous, especially what happened um, just about a week and a half ago. Not my doctor on call, and it was like a mess with when I was really sick and like went in there and they just didn't listen to me. Um, I'm, I think I've had a couple contractions, but nothing really. And I'm just concerned because you have 24 hours before risk of infection. Like, I really want to start contracting, but it also, they hurt really bad. Like, right now, obviously, like, we're good. We're, like, 10 minutes from the hospital, so it was a comfortable drive. It was an hour and 15 minutes, and I can tell that it's, it's light out, but... Okay, we're going in. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going in. I don't care how silly it looks. Bringing your own pillow is like 100% and like a blanket because your own comfort matters a lot. I learned that the first time. Okay, made it to the room. I have to get in the gown and get a urine sample. Probably gonna start monitoring me. Still not feeling contractions. I'm all hooked up now. Um, and they just did the little like swab to see if my water broke. I can feel I'm still like slowly leaking and she checked me, still three centimeters, um, but I'm not contracting. But she's like, oh, don't worry about that yet. But I am worrying. Um, the crib. <laughs> my fluid is coming out all in this ball right now. Um, so, my water broke at like four in the morning, four, probably like 4.50, it's now actually 10.45. So what is that, like almost five hours, no contractions. So um, I did have to go on Pitocin to see if it'll work right now. It's on a six. I still feel like my contractions aren't like that crazy yet. This whole experience is like really, really weird. And I'm trying not to like psych myself out. I'm like getting a lot of like medical anxiety. Like whenever you feel like a little bit like lightheaded, your heart races a little bit, like slightest bit sweaty, I like get really nervous. But I think I'm just like overall like anxious. Go ahead. I tried um, stimulating boobies a little bit to see if that would help. We got a little bit of colostrum. I don't want to take too much. I want to save it for the baby. What? Yeah, that's that's my toilet. That's my toilet. I don't know if you guys can see this. Obviously when this video comes out, but it's a surprise baby. Adeline or baby Rad or Raddy boy are the names and that's a delicious menu of nothing made the mistake and didn't eat before i left but i was just like so like anxious and worried just been sitting here for now and then those are my two little hats that i brought the little girl hat and the little boy hat Ugh. i like want this to be over with and it hasn't even started I don't know why, third baby, you'd think I'd be more prepared, but I'm just like nervous. And I'm sorry if you're watching this before you've ever given birth, but I guess it's just an experience for everyone. This whole thing is just so weird. I can't believe I'm not contracting. I'm obviously contracting a little bit with the Pitocin, but like my body literally all it does is contract, except when my water breaks. Baby's responding really well though, so far. Contractions are becoming a little bit more consistent. I'm having one right now. Um, I feel like standing is helping getting things moving along a little bit more. Um, I don't know when um, I should make the call for the epidural. It's like, I feel like if you wanna rate my pain scale, I'm at Let's say like five being the worst. I'm like not even a one. 
so but i also don't want to get to the point where it's like all of a sudden it's like a rush and it hurts so bad and i can't like stand it you know i just still cannot believe i'm in labor so crazy 10 days early <laughs> a different labor experience from both me and Sebastian like very different strange you'd think like your third baby would want to like fly out of your body but like right now I feel like it's a very slow labor I mean the only good part is my body initiated it you know so here's a little bit of an update um, my contractions are like I don't know, I think between two and four minutes apart, I'm finally starting to feel some discomfort with them and there's more of a pattern, thankfully. Um, and I was like, okay, let's let's just check me, see where I'm at. And I'm down, I was a negative two when I got here, like the baby station, now it's a negative one. And she's pretty confident that now I'm four centimeters. So, very slow labor compared to my other two babies. We're just gonna see what's gonna happen. I'm about to get a contraction. See, like now it's like uncomfortable. Do all husbands do this? He just took a dump in the bathroom. <laughs> He's blaming it on the yoga ball. Uh. Oh, now they're hurting. Trying to stay like calm. Really don't want to let your body like tense up because it can hurt worse. You gotta keep breathing. And worse. Is that a yes? Yeah. <laughs> You're doing I don't good. Want him to see this. Unfortunately, we don't have, really have a choice. Do you like how I said we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm like gonna. This is gonna happen like quick. I mean, good you never know. It could just be the Pitocin. I've never used Pitocin ever, so I don't understand. Like, the understand. quicker, the better. But it's like all of a sudden within like the past like. Yeah, but this happened with Sebastian. Hurts. Started but going. That's natural. Yeah, this is natural. They're just no, Pitocin. helping you along. You didn't get induced. Make sure you breathe. Imagine. Uh, it's like I'm trying not to tense up. She's still on her cord, so we can't come quite up yet, okay? Oh. The surprise baby. <sighs> She's got some chubby cheeks.
Remind me later when I get a new pen. I haven't done an update yet. Hey, I just have your um, pen little. Oh, okay. Good. Look at me. Uh, watch your chin. No, up. Up. Oh. Like get out of the way. Yeah. Look at that kid. Oh my god. So cute. See, like, that's a good picture to send. I don't even know what was captured or anything or what I last said in my last update. Adeline, <laughs> that's so weird to say that, was born 159 p.m. It's now 5.38. But all of a sudden, those contractions, like, got uh, literally atrocious literally so bad so painful and i think it was like from the pitocin um but it's like hard to remember because it happened a few hours ago but from what i can remember they were getting really like really bad and i was starting to get concerned because i knew i wanted to get the epidural and like by the time i got the epidural i had to have been like a seven or like an eight do you remember what time i think it was 12 30 12.30, I got the 12.30, I was 4 centimeters. And then, and, and then, then one, no, and then you had to, well, 1.30. I think. You had to, no, one, 12.30, you were a 4, mm -hmm. and then 1.30, it was an hour and a half, you were a 9. And, and then, then you had the baby at, 20 minutes later. I was only, I started pushing, she like looked on the monitor, 1.55, yeah. and she was at 1.59. That is the only good thing. Yeah. Um, she came right out. I didn't have a vacuum. My first birth without a vacuum. And I, it was really nice because um, I was looking through the mirror. So as soon as I started pushing like the correct way, I could like see her descending down. And then I was just like, I, she needs to come out like right now. But I think it was only like six contractions. Or something it was very like short that was the best part her coming out but the contractions were like atrocious um so crazy i can't believe it this whole day is so crazy i'm really tired right now my body's starting to ache a little bit um we've done like three feedings so far She's so cute. I don't know if I said her weight. She's six pounds, six ounces, 19 inches long. So, oh, like babies? perfect size baby. Mila was 6'4", Sebastian was 6'8", and now she's 6'6". Six, six. So funny. Um, I pretty much had a one degree tear, so I didn't tear nearly as bad. Um, I don't know, the whole thing just felt like easier this time pushing part the labor was really hard but that's definitely from pitocin yeah. okay we're gonna do just a little small update obviously i haven't really moved baby's just on me right now we finally got some food i didn't eat from six o'clock yesterday like almost a full 24 hours and you got some wonderful hospital food. Yeah. Very unhealthy food. Um, she's been crying a little bit more. I'm trying not to get nervous about it. But now she's content. We tried out the binky. I'm like, there's just no reason to not, you know, I don't know. Just no reason not to. Um, I'm probably going to have to try to feed her again in like a half hour. Um, my crotch hurts and I can feel like pain in my back from where the epidural was I still haven't tried to get up and pee at all yet they said I can wait but um yeah this is just so crazy I can't believe I'm officially like in the postpartum phase <sighs> like my couch yeah this room is really nice I I'll get a better view I know yeah, I wouldn't mind. This room's really cute, though. I mean, there's like a massive, nice view. 
behind the curtains too. Still haven't really got to see her eyes. Like, I think, I mean, they're definitely brown, but I don't know if they're like dark brown or they're gonna be like light brown, but her hair is super dark. I'm so happy there's so much hair.